welcome back to my channel. I know that this video was supposed to be filmed a couple of days back, but things have been very busy. And quite frankly, I haven't had a desire to want to post, um, which is a first for me. Um, but yeah, I have not had a desire to post to YouTube. And maybe because I just got tired of seeing like the same stuff and I just needed a break from all of the products that were just being pushed and pushed and pushed um that i just stepped away i haven't even been watching youtube and i haven't been really active on youtube um so yeah i just took a little mini hiatus um enjoyed family and all of that stuff and figured um well i kept putting this video off because i wanted it to be perfect and nothing in life is perfect which i should know that um but anyway i wanted it to be perfect and it's not it's not gonna be perfect so i figured i might as well just get this video out there regardless of what i have finished and and working on and all of that stuff so i was going to try to split these videos up but I'm so far behind in all of that. This intro is already so long that I feel like I'm going to go over just about everything in this video. So grab something to plan with, journal with, grab a cup of coffee, some tea, something to occupy your time while you watch this video or to, to help you get through this video, a snack or something, because this might be a long one. Um, so let's get started. Where do we start? Okay, let's start with the Hobonichi. So I, I've been in this since the end of November. And honestly, I have uh, probably some likes and some dislikes about the hobonichi for starters i i started out using a basic ballpoint pen because i didn't want a fuss with the hobonichi paper the tomoe river paper is already new to me and i didn't really want to fuss with you know like ink bleeding and all of that stuff so i stuck with a basic ballpoint pen and the two that i'm using is like this is a big um what is this round stick grip and the fine point and this one is a crystal bic in the ultra fine so i stuck with very basic utensils for this now um I did not end up using this book. I, I had intentions to use it as a um, finance sort of a thing. It To me, I feel like I, I would have to draw out the finance stuff. And to be honest, I, I just don't have that in me. I don't want to do it. This is basically where I'm at with it. It's just I don't want to do it. So it's just been a blank book that's just been sitting here. Um, December got really busy. The monthly, I absolutely love. I get the Plum Paper subscription stickers because I, I used the Plum Planner for a short period of time, which I have been kind of dying to go back into the Plum Planner because I don't know, the things that I put in it, the layout that I had really worked. And yeah, I don't, I don't know. I just couldn't do like, because I had those two inch discs, it was very heavy and it got very annoying very fast. But I think if I downsize the disc, maybe, I don't know. I'm toying with a lot of different things, but nonetheless, uh, love the Hobonichi Monthly. Here's, um, what is this? January. Here's January. Very busy and chaotic because I used a crap ton of stickers. Um, this is the only spot, though, where I feel like I can be really creative in the Hobonichi is within the monthly. Everywhere else, I feel like 
it doesn't work and it's not going to work for me for whatever reason. And for me, I just feel that way. Um, take it for what it is, but uh, I use most of my stickers. I highlighted things that needed to be highlighted. I sort of color coded things that needed to be color coded. And then I have a little workout tracker down here at the bottom that I've been checking off on. So those are the uh, monthlies. And then let's talk about the dailies. So I started this, like I mentioned, at the butt end of November. And I had all of these grand intentions that this is going to be my on the go. And it does. It really does work as an on the go. I do take this with me just about everywhere because my wallet and stuff is in here. But um, I don't know. Sometimes I, well, at first, if I'm being very transparent and honest, I did not like the Tomoy River paper. I understand that there is a hype over the Tomoy River paper because of the thinness. And I can totally vibe with that. I ended up buying a Naname Cafe Note in the B6 Slim because of the paper, the Tomoy River paper, which I think I like writing on, but there are some things that I don't like about the Tomoy River paper, which is what I had with the Stology is that it like curls up, especially when you use. So, like right now, I'm using regular ballpoint pens, and the edges of it curls up, and that to me is just very annoying. If you hear some noise, my son is probably getting into something, and you're probably gonna hear my husband right behind it. So, I'm not editing that out, and I'm not restarting. We're gonna roll with the punches. So yeah, um, Hobonichi has some things that I don't like about it. Even though I used ballpoint pen, I did find like if I had a, just a smidge of oil or lotion on my hands, it smudged the ink a little bit. Though it's not super noticeable, it is very noticeable. I do apologize for all of the noise that you might be picking up from the outside of this door. Um, I'm not editing it out. <laughs> and quite frankly, I don't care to edit it out either. So I hope that's not being too big of a distraction for you. But yeah, um, I used it as regular. You know, I kept my, I kept track of like the medications. Basically, so I'm going through this phase now where the older I get, there are things that that work for me, and then there are things that are not working for me, and I'm finding that there are a lot of things that I used to do when I was, like, in my early 20s and things like that that are just not working for me now. Um, now that I'm, like, early 30s, it's just not working for me, <laughs> so um, I, I really do need to talk to, you know, my doctors about, like, why am I so fatigued and I'm taking all of the stuff that I've been taking to help with that and things like that. But I've noticed um, without with without within the month of December that I have not taken most of them because I've been too tired to even remember to take them, even with writing them down. So um, that kind of stuff I like to include in here because I like to keep track of that. I also liked to keep track of my moods. Um, despite this being an on-the-go situation, it was still helpful to see it um, periodically, periodically <laughs> throughout the day. Um, and yeah, I basically just did my usual tracking and then some notes and little tidbits about the day if I had any. Um, it was like this second, is this the second to last? Okay, it was the second to last week of December that I started doing like a weekly task list and I would just put like a couple of things that I wanted to get done within that week that didn't have day specifics or that they're, sorry, that weren't day specifics. And so I would just write a list of those things and then when I did them, 
throughout the week I would just cross them off so that helped and I did it again down here very small one and then I started highlighting so I went back I didn't originally do this but I started highlighting my moods so that I could see it more clearly like when I'm flipping through like how much it fluctuated versus just seeing the black and the red ink so I started doing that like at the end of the week um what I would do is I would just highlight it and yeah here we are on this week that's ending and I have a task list that's going on here and then again I started out good with my medications and vitamins or whatever you want to call them uh at this moment and then then I fell off so that's that um when it comes to this back book so I had mentioned that I was using like the little what are these the note the notepads the uh hobonichi notepads so this one was supposed to be for december and i started it in november and basically i was using it as a daily and i was doing pretty good i kept up with this um basically just doing like a page a day sometimes it was a day on two pages sometimes it was a page for two days or two days on a page um, it basically just was a running list of things to do, um, a running uh, list of reminders or notes about something, questions to something that I needed to find out, um, kept track of the weather, what we ate for dinner, notes about my son, notes about my health general notes about the house things we ran out of that's basically what this book was it was basically just a running um book of things that just needed to be kept up with and i basically did this uh up until i think december 20th and then once we got to, towards that holiday week I really did not have a need or desire to um, daily plan anymore and um, as much as I like daily planning I have not been daily planning for quite some time like I have the Midori Habino and I'm finding it very hard to even fill up the two pages that they give you for each day so um i'm starting to we're already in the first month of the new year and i'm already having some general doubts and some questions in terms of like what planning is going to look like for me and am i migrating more towards a weekly and monthly planner type of situation um, because I really enjoy the weekly aspect of planning, but I have not been really in tune with the daily parts of it because I'm a stay at home mom, I'm a wife, I run the household, I basically do like all the house stuff. Um, and outside of that, like I do, I do like our, gro our meal planning, our groceries and stuff like that, but I don't have a whole lot of tasks besides you know, like general cleaning or stuff that I'm doing with my, my son. I do have things in place that I want to kind of tweak or to kind of help me along the way to better plan out my days because right now my days are just like I get up and I do the same type of thing and um, I waste some time because there are things that I could have done in that day, but then I don't do it in that day, if that makes sense. So I'm trying to get better at procrastinating and all of that and just telling myself, oh, oh, I can do it tomorrow. But nonetheless, I have not really daily planned. And that was the end of this book. So there are like maybe 14 pages left, seven sheets, not a whole lot. So I did utilize majority of the book, but the rest of it, I'm just going to turn into like little scratch notes. And then like... I got the mega so I have been contemplating and I started my January daily pages 
in the actual book, like the um, note section of the book. And I only got to the fifth. I only did the fifth. I didn't even do the first. Did I do the first? No, I didn't even do the first, the second, the third. I did the fourth and the fifth. That was it. So again, I got the mega and then I got all of the little supplemental notepads because I was thinking that I was going to use all of these pages for dailies and things like that. I don't know. The future of this Hobonichi's pages are still up in the air. There's still a whole year of things that could happen and could change the outlook of my planning and how I use all of this stuff over time. But right now it's the beginning of the year and there's really not a whole lot going on. And so my books are being a slight bit ne neglected in the in the present right now so that's that um so that's the hobonichi so if anybody was wondering how that went for december that's the hobonichi now um let's see the next thing that I want to slightly talk about really quick is the Midori Habino. So here's my Midori Habino. I'm going to zoom you guys in so you can see. Hopefully I'm still in frame. Maybe zoom out a little bit. Okay. So here's the Midori Habino. I started it on the 1st of January. And the cover that I have mine's in, if you did not see the video of when I was sharing like the setup of this is a Salty Katie Co cover. This cover is designed for the Hobonichi five year A6 journal, but I stuffed my Habino in it. And then what I did is I changed the original elastic that I ordered with this, which was red. And then I added a stamp or not a stamp, a patch to mine. I added this little patch that I got from Hobby Lobby to the front of mine's. And I absolutely love this jelly cover. Um, and then I don't love this Joey cover, if that makes sense. Like I have a love and hate relationship with it. The hate part comes from the fact that my Midori slides around. Um, like when I open it up and then I go to try to close it, it's pulling like right in here, but then pull the back pages out a little bit and then it's back to normal. That's the hate relationship with it is that I just can't close it as normal secondly um sometimes I just wish this had more pockets but I like the profile of this I like how this looks so I just stay with it now before I get into the actual Midori Habino I know that there have been comments about the Moterm covers and I'm going to tell you my opinion about it and how I really just don't see the hype with the Moterm. I do not care for Moterm. I own like three Moterm covers, four. I own the Ostrich Croc um, orange cover, which was the first cover I ever bought when they were very, very new, which that cover I do love. I own the Pocket Versa, the first one that they ever created. I own that one. And then I stopped because everybody jumped on the Moterm bandwagon. And I'm not hating on anybody who's on that bandwagon, but, or who loves Moterm. Um, but I just personally don't care for their stuff. Like I didn't really vibe with the, the Versa. And then I bought the Junior Discbound cover in burnt orange and it didn't fit my, my stuff. And I thought that that would be a really, really good cover, but I have not used it. And I, I'm i willing to sell it, but there's really no one who's using Junior Discbound that I know or that is willing to buy it. <laughs> I will sell it to you for the, the original price <laughs> that I paid. Um, or maybe knock off a little bit of money. I kind of want to get some part of my money back. I never used it. It just basically sat in a dust box or the dust bag in the box. So that's that. And then there's this. So then I went and 
because, you know, there are some people who have chosen to use the Moterm cover for their Midori Habino. A lot of people said the Moterm A6 Plus fit, and so uh, after having the Salty Katie Co. cover for quite some time, I went out and I got one. And yes, it fits. Um, if I can just get it out of this little bag, which I kind of feel like this bag is too small for this A6 cover, but that's neither here or there. Um, yeah, I got one. <laughs> I got one. I did put all my stuff in it and I opened it up and wasn't completely in love with it. That's how I, that's how I felt. For starters, for me, um, I don't like the way the mo terms feel. And maybe that's just me. And I'm not trying to be a hater on anyone who loves mo term, but I personally just don't like the way that it feels. Um, I don't like this, this way that this pebbled one feels. Um, this doesn't feel like real leather, but I know it's real leather, but it doesn't feel like it. Um... Yeah, it it's not my favorite. These small term covers have just grown to not be my favorite. I've scoured Etsy and stuff like that, and I know there's people out there that make way better stuff, and they come with a big price, a big penny. But I'm just personally not a fan of the mo term stuff. I knew this going into the Habino that um, people might suggest the mo term cover to me if I was looking for another cover and that's fine you know I'm all up for suggestions whatever fits to just protect the book itself but I just really personally don't care for the mo term cover uh it fit this this actually wasn't a tight fit it slid right in perfectly fine um I don't like that this doesn't lay flat because of the back pocket situation kind of makes it not lay flat I don't like that I had my so I put my habino in here like I have it in the salty katie cover with the books tucked into the pockets and this pen loop was hitting my tabs so didn't like that um outside of me just not liking the way that it feels I think that it's a nice nice cover I do like that it perfect stitching i like the contrast stitching if this is like let me see because i can't really tell it looks like green yellow or yellow green if it's if it's like a yellow green i like it but i think it's just them using green but i like the stitching on here um i don't care for these bookmarks i don't care for these but I like it. It's just that I'm not a huge fan of the mode term, like the way that it feels. I just don't like the way that it feels. I'm a textured person and this just does not feel that great. Um, I don't know. I'm going to hold on to it and play around with it a few times before deciding if I just get rid of this and try to find something else. But um, yeah. Yeah. That's where I am with this. And I swear up and down this dust bag does not fit this mo term. I have the hardest time getting it back in here. Let's see. Um, so I hope no one got offended off of me saying that I don't care for the mo term stuff because I know that there are a lot of people who like Moterm and it's an affordable option for a lot of people and I'm all for affordable um, but the Moterm isn't for everyone and it's not going to be for everyone and it's just it just happens to be me like I just don't care for the Moterm covers their products I just don't care for it um, in my opinion I think it's overhyped but I just don't personally care for it um but anyway i'm gonna show you this really quick so here's the habino um in the front you know i've talked about like all the little stuff if i can get my hand in here i talked about all the little stuff that i had in here and whatnot that's still crooked whatever okay um 
I, I've, oh my God, I have a ton, a crap ton of stuff to show you. So I got a photo printer for Christmas and the photo printer that I got is so, in my opinion, this, again, these are my opinions, so much better than an HP Sprocket. So much better than an HP Sprocket. I'm going to say that and leave it there. Um, no, seriously, I have to show it to you guys. My husband got it for me for Christmas because I wanted an HP Sprocket, but he searched around for a photo printer that was much better than that, and I could not be happier. It prints four by six photos, but then you can download the app. Oh my God, I have to show it to you. Um, you can download the app and then you can do photo collage and you can print out smaller photos. You can print out square photos. So I love the fact that there are different size photos that you can print out. And if you do the collage on the four by six, you can just cut them out, which is what I, I love because I have a journal for my son and I've been using that to print photos of things that go along with his journal. So that's that. That's my little spill on that. Um, I'm not going to pull anything out, but I do have like my routine and workout and no spin trackers in there. This is a Hobonichi supplement. I'm sorry that I keep bumping you guys. I This is like a no fuss kind of a planner. You'll see some duplicate information across from the Hobonichi in this. So like what we eat for dinner and again my medications just to kind of help me stay on top of it but basically it's just like all the tasks like all the weekly tasks and timed stuff that's that's going on it goes in here um i'm not keen on using a vertical weekly but you know it works for right now um and i just do my weekly tasks there and then this is this current week that we're getting ready to end. Again, just basic stuff, stuff that I just need to get done. It just goes in here. Now, jumping to the Habino. I've started to, I, I've already started to fill out this yearly section um, for like stuff that's coming up. Right now, I just have like holidays, birthdays, anniversaries, events, things like that in there. But yeah, um, the monthly, I'm just using very, you know, plain and simple, putting in stuff that is coming up because this book was supposed to be my main planner and it was supposed to be like a no fuss situation. And again, um, I'm having a little trouble filling up the two pages that they allot for each day. Because there's an, a, not a whole lot going on right now and um, I just haven't really been into the daily planning because I've just been putting stuff in the weekly and then the weekly just works. But um, I do like the, the monthly. I think this is a good um, amount of space and I use this side for weekly reminders or weekly things that are coming up so it's broken up like this so for instance if I can find another month so for instance it's broken up like this and then what I do is I just write so if garbage days land on Tuesday and Friday I just say garbage day Tuesday slash Friday and then like if my husband has basketball practice like Wednesday then I say uh hubby b-ball at five and then that lets me know like what's to come throughout this week without having to write it on the actual day and then I can keep the day open for like major appointments so like if my son has an appointment on like Wednesday then I can just write it here like appointment at nine so um yeah I basically just use this as like the running things, like the things that don't actually need to be in these boxes that are happening for the week. And then I just keep this open for the bigger stuff. And then of course, anything that needs to stand out a little bit um, more is put in red ink. And again, I'm just using basic ballpoint pens. I'm using the Bic pens. This is my pencil pouch. This is my infamous pencil pouch. I got this off of Amazon. Um, I was looking for something um, to put like 
all my new pens or just something new for the new year and I got this pencil pouch off of Amazon because I really didn't care for the pencil pouches that I have and I just keep general stuff in here but right now I'm using these Bic pens and I know you've seen this little pen I know they're not the most uh loved pens but they work so well and they get the job done and the ink lasts quite a while and they're inexpensive there's so many things to love about them and so yeah um where are we let's move on so okay january 1st <laughs> um i kind none let me just say that none of the spreads are going to look exactly the same because I've been kind to figure out how to really navigate and how I want the days to flow in this book. So each day is going to have a different flow. But basically, this section always starts out as a daily to do. And I just use the book somewhat how it's intended. So like this top part is intended for like the weather and stuff. And so I just put the weather there and I use this part as a schedule. And then like I have my daily to do's here. And then what I was doing on this day is I mixed in notes and then like my um, like my food journaling. I, I'm taking that part out because I do not like putting my breakfast, lunch and dinner and, and snacks in here. Like I would like to actually keep a food journal of all the things that I eat so that I can see it a lot better than just day today on on this kind of a format so i'm taking that out i have a water intake which i will keep in but it will also be included in my food journal and then i, I started um taking ca like a caffeine tracker because i wake up so fatigued most of the time that i just i quickly run to get coffee and so i just want to see how much caffeine I'm taking throughout the day because sometimes I find myself drinking one or two cups of coffee and two cups turns into energy drinks so I just need to keep track of that and try to wing myself off of that um and then basically for this page because it was the new year I basically just did like some journaling I did a little bit of like if I did social media stuff um I was doing something about workout. I don't need the spread is so like over the place. And then I just wrote like notes about that day. The next day, I tried to do this a little bit better. So I've split up the schedule since things were kind of going back to normal. Um, I split up the schedule with what usually happens. And then I don't know why I did an extra bar here. I changed this, but I don't know why I did that, but I did like my basic to-do list. And then I did the meals of the day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and snacks, just to keep track of what I ate. This is something also that I used to do in my personal rings like a year or two ago when I was pregnant. And it helped me to do it that way because I was taking insulin. And so I could literally uh, write like, whether or not I took insulin for that meal and what my blood sugar was, it helps for a specific kind of thing that I was doing, but I'm, I'm not taking insulin anymore. I'm not diabetic anymore, but I still have some health issues. And so I, I just need to figure out a new way to track all of the health stuff, um, that is going on with me because this layout that worked before is not working now. Um, again, water, caffeine, coffee, tracker. And then I had some notes about um, house stuff. And then what I started doing is writing down like the AM, PM and evening notes. So like everything we did in the morning, this was like a recap of that. like. We woke up at nine, Ashton ate breakfast, he had oatmeal and banana, yada, 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 like little notes to tell me exactly what we did that day so I can go back and do something different for the next day if need be. Um, keeping track of like my son's attitude, what he eats, um, what we work on, he is in a stage where we bought him a lot of like learning stuff 
and it, a lot of the stuff requires us to sit down and teach him so we're trying to get him uh, like up to speed because um, there were some concerns that maybe he might be um, autistic and so I'm just going to try to work with him a little bit out of each day so I've just been writing like notes about my son throughout the day the activities that we do and so on as well as keeping track of my own stuff like breakfast lunch dinner and snacks I started incorporating the moods um so basically like keeping track of my moods and how my moods fluctuate throughout the day, especially when I'm drinking lots of caffeine. Luckily, it's been like two out of eight. Um, I think now I can drop the little cups down to like four track between like one and four instead of one through eight because eight is a little bit excessive and I never get to eight cups, two, three maybe, but yeah, eight is a little bit much, but nonetheless, I changed the way that I started doing like my uh, daily task and I drew the line all the way down to break up the um, schedule and then I just track, I just check off whether or not I did it and then I have like my medications that I added in there. So this changes but it relatively stays the same as far as this. But sometimes this other stuff that I'm tracking just changes. It's been changing. Like I did a layout like this. And I don't know how I feel about it. But I feel like there was a lot of space. I feel like there was nothing here after I put everything here. And yeah, so used a lot of stickers to cover up space. And um yeah, I went back to doing some stuff the same, but again, it's none of the spreads are set in stone. It's just all a work in progress. And then this was yesterday, and basically I've just been working through um these pages to kind of get them to really work for me. But again, I haven't done anything for today. Maybe I'll back plan today. Maybe I'll sit down and write down some stuff from today. I've done the weekly planning, but I there's really no need for a daily today. <laughs> like, like I'd just be filling this out just for the heck of it. But anyway, um, that's the Midori Habino. I have so much other stuff to share with you guys, but I feel like we're at 37, almost 40 minutes in. And if I keep going, we're going to be here all day. So... I'm going to stop there and then, whoops, keep bumping you. I'm going to stop there and then I'm going to go into something else that that I can share with you because I feel like I've shared a lot between the Hobonichi and the Midori. I really wanted to share those two because those are new planners for me. And not only are they new planners for me, um, I know that there are a lot of people who are really interested to see like what I chose to do with mine's. Um, versus what everyone else is doing and stuff so I I hope <laughs> I hope that I was able to walk you through like how I've used it and how I am using it and going to continue to use it and of course any changes any tweaks that I make along the way I will definitely share that with you guys here but that is that from me guys I thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one bye guys